Okay, so in this exercise, we'll attempt to design a shaft. Um, but in this design, we are going to assume that the shaft is experiencing only um, some turning movement, which will induce a torsional shear on it. And with that, if you want to design a solid shaft, this will be the equation we'd use. Okay, so this is our turning movement, and that is our torsional shear and this is the diameter all right now so for a solid shaft we have this equation uh, and if you wanted to design a hollow shaft rather uh, hollow shafts are mostly used in marine environments so if you wanted to design a hollow shaft this will be our equation that same turning movement will be equivalent to the torsional shear and this d naught here will be our outer diameter because it's a hollow shaft so it will have an, an outer diameter and an inner one now this k here is the ratio of the inner diameter to the outer diameter that is what our k is okay so the theory behind this um, is from um, a textbook a textbook of machine design by rs chem so if you are interested you can have a look okay so would um, go to matlab and then we will write our scripts in this exercise and then maybe in our next video we will develop an app in matlab which can execute or which can solve the same problem okay so here in matlab uh, we'll create a new script We'll create a new script. Let's start with a comment um, that says maybe give some description to our script. Um, so what are we trying to do here? So shaft design, shaft design based on torsion or torsional stresses. And then who is doing this work? Okay, a little bigger. All right. So this is by Ben AK. And today happens to be Easter Monday, the tenth of April, twenty twenty-three. I need a script to be able to handle the two situations. That is. When I have um, when I have a solid shaft and I want to have a design or a hollow shaft, so um, I'm going to ask the user if they want to design uh, the both of them um, using input statements. So I can say solid solid shaft will be equal to inputs and then have to put in some prompt here so let's say enter one to design solid shaft all right and then for hollow shaft i'll do same hollow shaft i would say input and then um enter one to design hollow shaft okay so that is that um, and then once the user specifies that they want to um, they want to design both shafts now I can take the inputs to supply to my formula so what do I need I need to take the turning moment which is T or the torque and then the torsional shear all right so i can take both i can take the two of them so i need to have my t i'll just call it t uh, and then t enter the talk uh, in add the unit to it 
if you so desire then maybe i can put a comment here t is turning moment or talk and then i'll have to take tau which is my torsional shear so again enter the value of i don't know torsional shear okay um, if you want to add a comment you can go ahead and do so i don't know maybe the prompt is descriptive enough i don't know if you will need this okay so once we take these two what i'm going to do is if you look at my formula um, t and tau are common to the both of them so i have t and tau here but then d not is specific to hollow and k is specific to hollow so i will only take d not oh sorry i will only take yeah, yeah, yeah i only take k when i am computing for um, hollow shaft so uh, that's what i'm going to do um, i'll only take k when i'm ready to compute for the hollow shaft so let me write some if statements now so i can now say if um, solid shaft is equal to one then what do i need to do i would have to compute my d so to compute d i would have to make d the subject of this equation or i have to write this in terms of d uh, and that is quite simple so you can go ahead so i would have 16 t over pi uh, multiplied by um, tau and then i'll have to take the square root of all i would have to take and then i would have to take the cubic root of all of that okay so I'll go ahead and enter that. So I'll have 16 multiplied by T. And all of this will be divided by pi multiplied by tau. And then I'll have to take the um, the cubic root of that so I can say all of this is raised to the power 1 over 3 um, but then another way to do it is to use nth, uh, nth root which is one function in MATLAB so for nth root I'll have to supply um, whatever um, numeral or whatever value I want to find the cube root for in this case that is um, that is this entire thing so I want to find the cubic root of this entire thing here okay and then I indicate the root So I'll have something like this, right? So end root, I'll have to supply, supply all of, yeah, I have to supply all of this. So after all of that has been computed, um, I'll find the cubic root. An example will be, I can say, find the end, the end root of um, 8 now in this case the nth root let's say i want to find the cubic root okay so once i hit that i have two okay so that is what we are implementing there all right and then after the computation what can we say we need an output so we can say f print f you can say that the or 
let me just say diameter of solid shaft is then that so that will be the diameter of the solid shaft and now again can say if hollow that if hollow shaft if this value here if this value here is equal to one okay then i would have to take my k i have to take this k before i can continue with the computation so i would say k will be equal to then let me take that as an input so enter the value of k then once i have k now i can compute my d naught so d naught which is the external diameter will be equal to what how do i get that okay so i have um 16 t so 16 star 16 star t or 16 multiplied by t or divided by so that is divided by pi multiplied by tau and all of this is multiplying 1 minus k raised to the power 4 okay i don't want any trouble so i'm going to put this in brackets and then that okay so i have all of this and i need to find the um, i need to find the cubic roots of this entire thing here right so i have to put all of this All of this in a bracket and then I want this cubic root now I can say nth root all right just to be safe I am going to put this denominator in another bracket okay now per the theory k um, is equal to d i over d naught so it means that if i want my d i is simply this k star d naught okay so that is that and then i can do f print f print f and then can say the uh, can say the outer diameter is something and inner diameter is also something and what are these somethings these somethings are d naught and d i all right so this is what i have mm. okay so what might i do um i could run this but not before it's saved so let me save that in here call it shaft design for torsion shaft design for torsion let me save this yeah, let me add to pass okay so now i can try it out 
enter one to design solid shaft. I'll say one, enter one to design hollow shaft. I'll say one for the turning movement. Let me say 4500 torsional shear. Let me say 50,000. And then I have the diameter of the solid shaft at 0 0.77. I'll enter the value of K. Let's say a half and then I have the outer diameter and inner diameter for the hollow shaft as well. I'll just have to do some string formatting so that these ones don't appear together. So enter um, diameter of solid shaft that is this. Um, what can I do? Okay, so before this is printed i am going to leave two lines like that before this f print f because i want this to move to the next line mm. and then uh, okay okay so let's try that one more time all right enter one and enter one one again, turning movement something, torsional shear something again. Okay, all right, and now I have the space. Okay, so okay, I have that now. Before I take K, where is my K? Before I take this K, let me add some space, let me decrease this to one. Okay. Before I rerun, let me do CLC and clear. I rerun this, so I have one, one, I don't know something, another something. Okay, that is that, and then for K, let's say zero point seven. All right. So um, you can add. Um, backslash n to wherever you need to put some spaces and then you should be fine the backslash n actually is the next line character uh, so that is that so that is that for this very simple and straight to the point um next time we are going to write an app in matlab which will make some computations for us so that we can have the inner and outer diameter of the shaft as well see you